Hey, welcome back. I found a reasonably priced monitor that is versatile, decent enough for creators with a good IPS display, and decent enough for gaming. So let's check it out. So this is indeed the Nitro XV2 series from Acer. So it does indeed have a QHD display, 27 inches IPS, one millisecond variable uh, refresh backlight. I mean, wouldn't use that, but it's about five milliseconds to be honest. 144 hertz refresh rate it's got a 10-bit panel it's also amd free sync and g-sync compatible and with 400 nits of brightness it does support hdr 400 connectivity options are really good in this monitor it's got two hdmi ports one display port uh, 1.4 it's got one usb upstream and four usb downstream ports so two of them are at the side and two of them are at the bottom Anyway, the packaging looks really nice and it's a uh, very nice premium packaging. This is not one of the high-end monitors like the Predator series, but it's also got uh, two watt speakers, two of them on either sides. You do get a HDMI cable. They don't give a DisplayPort cable. I don't know why. There's a power cord and a USB uh, 3.0 cable. So let's get this box open. So right at the top, there's a this calibration paper for the color settings. So for creators, uh, this could make sense. Stand is actually taped at the back of this. Let me get rid of that. So yeah, this is the base plate of the monitor and it's got a toolless mounting option, which is really nice. And it's also got two supporting uh, struts at the bottom there. The red uh, clamp that you see is just for cable management. That's the only thing you get to manage cable in this particular monitor. That's the USB extension port. And this one is your HDMI 2.0 cable. The power cord, I mean, for some reason, Acer has thrown in the 16 amp plug. And this really wouldn't fit in any normal household socket, unless you have a heavy duty plug point for your geezer or your AC. So that's one problem. Uh, there's a book here, which is also uh, part of the warranty which Acer gives you and just took out the whole box there and here is the mounting stand another part of it and all of this is made of really good quality metal so nothing is plastic and uh, this will mount into the base plate and it's all toolless so let's check out the display it's having another plastic covering so there you go I like the design of this whole monitor because it's got this frameless design and you only have this Acer logo and the you know bottom bezel at the top you have nothing and even in the sides there's barely anything there's no protective coating on the screen as such so there's no plastic covering it at the back you can see that uh, this has a very simple design and you also have uh, compatibility with base mounting 100 by 100 mm so you can wall mount it easily with uh, compatible stands here are the ports hdmi display port you have a headphone out and the usb ports of course and some more specs at the back it just talks about how much power this consumes i think uh, when i read it somewhere it consumes about 35 watts on full power so here are the speakers two watts stereo speakers basically as good as your laptop speakers here are the button controls you have about five buttons in total with one joystick at the end there's also a kensington lock if you notice and the buttons are pretty clicky the usb ports on the other side they're all usb 3 ports which is really nice mounting the stand is very simple you just align this and you pull this lever and you're good to go so just insert this into the slot and just pressing it down will lock the monitor in place that's it so everything has this matte finish to it and uh, this is good stuff and even the base plate can be mounted without any tools so here's how it looks once you put everything together let me know what you guys think about this design so honestly speaking, if you compare this with the Predator series or the Lenovo gaming monitors, it doesn't look as good as those monitors. 
even from the side it's not the slimmest monitor to look at but the stand is really good it's uh, it's got height adjustability it does tilt and uh, I think uh, to be honest uh, I initially thought this is very flimsy but uh, it's a very strong uh, setup so there's a little bit of wobble uh, sometimes but not so bad that it can affect the way you look at the monitor there's also the versatility of having this tilted uh, vertically so that's another advantage you get with this monitor so you'll have to lift the monitor to its maximum height and then uh, slightly incline it and then rotate it to get it into this uh, orientation so once you do that at the side you can see you can see all of the ports here inside the two usb 3 ports along with the input and the two hdmi ports i've plugged in something into the hdmi port so i have the display on right now and honestly speaking the first impression is the colors really pop out the 2k display really helps to bring out those pixels unless you really zoom in closely you can't actually see those pixels even with the camera going really close so this is a 10-bit panel uh, hdr 400 and it's also ips and it has 144 hertz refresh rate and it's a 27 inch screen i found very few monitors in fact i think the only one which came close was the lenovo g series which had everything uh, similar to this particular monitor colors are really good so even in the black scenes you see that the, there is bleed being an ips display you do have a light bleed from the sides it isn't so bad that it affects the quality of whatever is displayed on the screen viewing angles no problem at all being an ips display this again helps you mitigate any kind of difference in colors that you have from the sides So it essentially checks all boxes. I mean, this is a, a monitor which costs about 25K INR and it has everything that you need. IPS, 144 Hz, it's got uh, gaming modes and it's also got a great 2K display. And all this is rarely found on other monitors at this price point, of course. With regards to gaming, this isn't one of those high-end refresh rate monitors. It doesn't do 240. So 144Hz is what you get. And you get a response time of about 5 milliseconds without the overclocking option on. 144Hz is, is a good jump from 60Hz. It may not be as good as 240Hz, but the difference you notice between a 144 to a 240Hz display is minimal as compared to 60 to a 144 or a 120. So this is good enough for mediocre gamers, and I'm really happy with it. So let's check out the control options and how to navigate between different sections of the menu. So the menu on the monitor is really, really well thought of. There are four buttons. The first button, of course, is the power button, switching it on buttons. So if you press the first one, you move into the mode. So basically here you have preset modes for your monitor's display capability. So you can put it in action. Basically helps you in gaming. This one will let you put a crosshair in case you want to uh, get some assist in your uh, aiming shots. Then you have a racing mode, you have a sports mode. These are customizable. And then you have a user mode. Basically, you can have your own settings and save it as uh, a user. And then you have the typical modes for your daily usage. For example, standard helps you for your movies. You have an eco mode, which runs on lower power. Then you have a graphics mode in case you're doing any kind of creative work. So the monitor automatically sets the color, tone, and everything else, which is uh, appropriate for doing creative work. Plus, this monitor supports HDR 400, so it will play uh, HDR content. You also have the brightness adjustment here on the go. Let me also show you what else it is. So you can also choose the inputs here. Uh, so this monitor has got three inputs. So you've got two HDMI. You also have a display port 1.4 and it's also got the auto source option which i always leave it on because i've plugged in my fire stick on this right now it's also connected to my uh, desktop so based on whatever input is working it'll automatically switch to that input this job dial button when you click it it's it's a really nice feature on these monitors nowadays you have this job dial wherein you can easily scroll between the settings without having to press multiple buttons so this is the actual menu when you click on the job dial button you have a comprehensive menu which lets you adjust all these settings 
So basically the jog dial button also dubs, doubles up as a clicky button. And once you click on that twice, you get into the main menu. And here you can see a couple of options that you can use to adjust the way your monitor displays its content. So obviously these are the common ones, the brightness and contrast. You also have black boost. So when you actually play with that, kind of brightens the black areas on the monitor. And then you have blue light option. You can completely switch it off. I always leave it on or off based on the time I'm using it. So uh, you also have this adaptive contrast management. Basically plays around with your contrast to give you better picture clarity. I usually leave it off. HDR, I mean, you can leave it on if you have HDR content. Windows 11 supports that as well as your Fire Stick. The newer versions support HDR content. Super sharpness and maximum brightness. So these will change based on the mode you're using, right? So let's go to the color menu. So here you have options to adjust all the color uh, color settings. So in the color menu, you have options to uh, adjust the gamma uh, settings as well as the color temperature. I usually leave it on warm so that you know there's less of blues. And uh, you also have the audio settings. So these basically this monitor has dual two watt speakers on either sides so you can adjust the volume settings here and you can also mute it so the gaming settings so uh, if you put overdrive on the response time is reduced from five milliseconds to about think one millisecond so that kind of helps you have better options while gaming FreeSync is basically amd's graphics card which uh, supports this option to kind of uh, match the frame rates when you're playing it's also G-Sync com compatible. I'll show you that separately. Uh, you can also have this option of displaying the refresh rate on the monitor. And again, aim point basically lets you select three different types of aim points if you're having this option on your gaming mode. So on-screen display options, you also have uh, other settings like your input. And this is a comprehensive menu. So uh, basically has more in-depth uh, menu here so you can also charge your usb devices when uh, the power is off so just like your laptops do nowadays so here individually you can control these things but if you actually use the preset modes you don't have to worry about any of these things so this is also called the picture in picture mode this uh, is really nice for example if you have two inputs uh, your display port and your hdmi working so this picture in picture mode can let you display two different sources at the same time on your screen just like you have on your bigger tvs like I said, I always leave uh, auto source on. And um, yeah, so DDC CI is basically uh, letting your monitor communicate with your uh, uh, desktop or your laptop. So now uh, most of the new uh, desktops and laptops have this ability to communicate with your monitor's hardware. So I usually leave it on. And then you have hotkey assignment basically lets you uh, preset options for each of those buttons. So that's a pretty nice menu and very easy to navigate and very easy to enter and exit as well, unlike your older monitors. So that was the XV2 from Acer and the Nitro series. So it's a decently priced monitor with most of the features that you really need for creative work as well as your mediocre gaming. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'll leave links in the description in case you want to buy one of these. Uh, once again, thank you so much for watching our tech. I hope you subscribe and hit the like button. Share the video with your friends who are looking for monitors. Uh, subscribe to keep watching out for more such videos. Thank you so much. See you on the next one.